hit it all the time, so he talked of honesty, fairness, justice. All of those times I counted on you to have the courage to take those dreams out into the world. I can't live your dreams anymore. I want a life of my own. You've been given a gift, Peter. With great power comes great responsibility. In spite of everything you've done for them, eventually they will hate you. Listen, maybe you're not supposed to be Spider-Man climbing those walls. That's why you keep falling. You always have a choice, Peter. I believe there's a hero in all of us that keeps us honest, gives us strength, makes us noble, and finally allows us to die with pride, even though sometimes we have to be steady and give up the thing we want the most. Even our dreams. I don't think it's for us to say whether a person deserves to live. Uncle Ben meant the world to us, but he wouldn't want us living one second of revenge in our lives. Everybody loves a hero. People line up for them, cheer them, scream their names. Years later, they'll tell how they stood in the rain for hours just to get a glimpse of the one who taught him to hold on a second longer. I'm responsible. For what? For what happened to Uncle Ben. But you were at the library. You were doing your homework. These are the years when a man changes into the man he's going to become the rest of his life. He drove me to the library, but I never went in. I went someplace else. Someplace where I thought I could win some money. To buy a car, because I wanted to impress Mary Jane. I won the money, the guy wouldn't pay me, and he got robbed. The thief was running towards me. I could have stopped him, but I wanted revenge. I let him go. He wanted a car. He tried to take Uncle Ben's. Uncle Ben said no. And then he shot him. Uncle Ben was killed that night being the only one who did the right thing. That matters, Peter. I am. You're my friend. I held his hand. You did love me. When he died. I do. I've tried to tell you so many times. <laughs>